Hey guys, welcome to a new video and welcome to my bookshelves. For today's video I thought it would be fun to go through my bookshelves, do a little book tour. Even though I am definitely not as avid of a reader as I used to be when I was younger, life gets in the way. Uh, I still absolutely love books and I love having them on display, at least certain ones. I love collecting them. I think throughout my life there have been very, very few books that I have let go. There's something about letting go of books that just feels wrong to me for some reason. I have been so good at minimizing everything else in my life with books, I just can't. So I tend to keep all my books, uh, which also means that the fact that something is in my bookshelf doesn't necessarily mean that I enjoyed it. There are uh, a few unread books in the shelf. I intend to read them all at some point, but you know how those things go. I don't have a designated to be read shelf and quite a few of these are halfway halfway read which is also rather strange because one of the reasons why I don't read as much anymore is that I really like to finish a book before I start a new book so if I don't like a book I will spend months or years even trying to read it and then just give up after a few years and pick up a different book anyway which then of course I might have done straight away but I won't for some reason I have weird book habits let's go through and I'll show you what is here? Okay, let's begin in the top left corner. My books are organized kind of by color, kind of by size, kind of by topic. Basically, whatever looked best in my bookshelves. Aesthetics! <laughs> These are my light colored books. I have some classics in here. I have three Austen novels. I have The Mist of Avalon here, which I borrowed from a friend who then moved abroad and I never got the chance to return it. I also have Robin Hood. Let's see, this is one of the few Dutch books that I have in my collection. Van de Koele Mere des Doods. I really, really enjoyed this. I read that for high school and then I liked it so much that I decided to buy it. I have some poetry here, I have some Irish fairy tales, one of Robert's math books. <laughs> In front here, obviously, maybe I should have started with that. If you're not aware, I keep rats, they are over there. And these are puppets of some of the boys that have passed away. My dad made these and yeah, they are very special to me. I like to keep them up here on display. Moving on to the second shelf. This is probably my favorite shelf out of all the ones I have. These are my study books. I have some of my art history books here, my classical mythology, old English, there's more old English over here, but the majority of this is Celtic, so I have my old Irish and my middle Welsh books here. I have my Welsh dictionary, my Irish dictionary, Bunch of Welsh books, bunch of Irish books here. I have um, History of Medieval Ireland. This is my favorite old Irish tale. Absolutely adore this. So yeah, I have that. This is a very old copy, by the way. Like, I'm not entirely, whoa, it's from 1902. Is that original? Is it actually that old? The Ex Libris says 1964. So maybe it's actually from 1964. It says 1902 in here. <gasps> Okay, maybe this is actually really, really old and I shouldn't be holding it up like this. Okay, let's put that back. <laughs> I believe I got that at um, my study association's book market, so it must have come out of someone's old library. Anyways, yes, study books. These are very, very dear to me. Um, I don't really reference them anymore, because why on earth would I need a grammar of old Irish? <laughs> they remind me of a very nice time in my life and I really, really, really enjoyed studying all of these subjects. So I'm definitely keeping those. I will never understand how people get rid of their study books, just how. Hidden behind my kind of dried out Monstera, the saddest leaf, <laughs> here is my shelf of dark colored books. A few more classics in here to start with. I have Alice. I have a picture of Dorian Gray. Symplectic Invariance and Hamiltonian Dynamics. That's Robert's study book. He um, studied math. I have the first book in the Witcher series. Check translation, I think. Yeah, check. Got halfway through. Stop reading. I don't fully remember why, but obviously it just didn't captivate me enough, I think. I do want to try again because apparently the books are much better than the show was. <laughs> and I know that they are very beloved in Poland. So I do want to give that another try. I have a little black book of tea, which I got from a viewer at a meetup. So obviously this is very precious to me as well. And it's just an amazing book because hello, it just has everything about tea. So this has a bunch more math books, some random books, another tea book, lots of info about tea. 
can never have enough info about tea, right? And also on this shelf, a little 3D printed dinosaur. Next up, I have two shelves of pretty books. The Return of the King, illustrated by Alan Lee, and oh guys, I found this at another book market, and this was the only part they had, but I want to get all three parts in this edition, because I absolutely adore Alan Lee's illustrations of um, Middle Earth. I think he captured it just perfectly. So then I have Fire and Blood, which is very high up on my to read next list. I have The Elder Tales by Lovecraft. This is a Dungeon Master guidebook, um, that's Robert's. The American Duchess Guide to 18th Century Beauty here, of course, which is absolutely amazing. I highly, highly recommend that. I have two books here about Czechoslovak scientists, which might seem very random, but my great, great grandfather if I'm saying that right, my grandfather's grandfather was a renowned Egyptologist and this book is partially about him. So there are photos in here as well. That's my great great grandfather, the Egyptologist. So yeah, I have two of those. He is featured in both. An art project by one of my friends. She studied photography at the Arts Academy and this was her graduation project. It was shot at our scouting and it features our Cub Scouts. And I just absolutely love this. I think it's really cool. So I bought a copy. Then I have the complete works of Shakespeare, Tennyson, Sagas of Icelanders, still high up on my to read list as well. Then this is a photo I took in Ireland when I went to visit my friend on one of the beautiful pebbly beaches. And I took two of the pe pebbles as well. I put them in that little shadow box. Way over there on the end is a piece of embroidery, which is a family heirloom. This was hand embroidered by a family member. My grandma found a bunch of these and she framed a little piece and I put it on display here on my bookshelf. Moving on to Pretty Books Light Colored Edition. When we just moved in here and we set up these bookshelves, I had the idea to cover all of the brightly colored books with this craft paper because I thought it would look really nice and kind of uniform. But then I did three and realized how insanely time consuming and labor intensive that would be. I uh, decided against it. So three of these are covered, which is good because they are bright purple, bright red, and also bright red. So decoration wise on this shelf, here is a little photo cube that I made Robert years ago, I think for Valentine's Day, actually. It has a bunch of photos of us six, obviously. Each side of the cube has different photo. This is a print from another friend of ours. Um, he is a illustrator and he illustrated a little first aid book. He made this after a first aid course we actually took together. So yeah, I really love this project as well and I decided to buy the book. It illustrates what to do after a jellyfish or bees thing. Then here I have just a little lantern on top of a really old book which I bought at a secondhand store. I'm not even sure what's in there. It looks like German poetry. Oh, it was gifted on June 4th, 1945 to Boss because he returned from Germany. That must be... Oh, I hope he's not a war soldier. Oh no, I had no idea. Why am I only just now opening this? I must have opened it when I bought it, but that was years ago. Yeah, there are German poems and oh no. <gasps> Is this an actual piece of World War II memorabilia in my home that I had no idea of? All right, let's put that back as well. <laughs> Why am I so clueless? Anyways, behind there, there is this postcard from Prague, a friend of mine, and a piece of um, calligraphy, my very first experience with calligraphy. It's always time for tea. I didn't know what to do with it, so I just put it back there. So as for the books, I have the costume history here which is a beautiful, beautiful resource, features so many, my book's gonna topple over. Beautiful costumes from all over the world, all different ages. Very, very interesting, love having that. And this is a children's book that was illustrated by my grandma, uh, who also makes all the paintings that are in my house, so I have an edition of that. The complete works of Edgar Allan Poe, uh, more mythology, some of Robert's books, Fashions in Hair, which I call my hair bible. The complete history of hairstyling, and it is an absolutely amazing resource. And I have Lisa Eldridge's Face Paint, which is a makeup book and super gorgeous. Lots of great info in there as well. 
To the right of that shelf, we have uh, some plants. I have a candle holder and a drawing that I made Robert also years ago, I think, again, for Valentine's Day. To the left, there isn't that much going on here. It's a pile of math books again, uh, an old ukulele that isn't used because we have a new better one, a kazoo that I wish didn't exist because this is the single most annoying thing in the world, and an empty vase at the moment. I want to put some dried flowers in there because I think that would look really really nice but I haven't gotten any yet. One shelf down is part of my Harry Potter book collection. These are my Slovak editions and I have number seven in English as well because I was obviously older when this came out and by this time I really preferred to read in English but all the other ones are Slovak. These are by far my most read books. I think I have read all of these except for number six and seven at least 20 times maybe even more. I used to just read this on repeat. On the other side are my Game of Thrones books as well as A Knight of the Seven Kingdoms, another Westeros book. I have Rogues, which is an anthology of short stories. Can I really recommend this, by the way. This is really good. I believe they have two others as well. There's one called Dangerous Women. I believe I read all three of them. I have two on my e-reader as well. And then on the end here, Elina Fere by Louis Couperus. Also read that in high school. Really, really liked it. So decided to buy it and now I have it in there. So in front here, I have some knickknacks, little souvenirs from Iceland and a little whalebone needle which on the one hand I really want to use because it's really cool and on the other hand I don't want to break it so for now it's just sitting there. <laughs> one shelf down again is the other set of Harry Potter books. These are Roberts. Uh, unfortunately two of them are hard covers and the rest are uh, soft covers so two are just a little bit taller which is really really annoying. It is what it is so these are the Dutch language translations and then on the end here is where I usually keep anything that I'm currently reading so I actually just finished this it's another Dutch book and then I have my e-reader here as well for easy access and this little thingy that is Robert's and yeah when we just moved in here I kind of really hoped that there was a cool story behind this um, but there isn't. On the other end here, this is my Tolkien shelf. So I have the Lord of the Rings DVDs, which are the only DVDs allowed in the bookshelf, but come on, they are gorgeous, you must admit. Um, I have a notebook, which is so beautiful that I will probably never ever use it, which is the biggest shame ever, but look at it. It's a moleskin, came out when The Hobbit came out, the movies, the Hobbit movies. So it has a little image of Smaug and then the map all around. How do I ever pick something to write in this? It also comes with an actual map in the back, which I would kind of really love to frame and display somewhere because it's just really, really cool. It's maybe a bit unconventional to have a notebook in a bookshelf, but I'm sure you can understand. Then I have the actual Lord of the Rings book and I have the Children of Hurin on the side here. This is another Valentine's Day present from me to Robert and I believe this was like a hundred reasons why I love you and it became an accumulator for things. There's more of course! I have another set of shelves in my office which is just half of our bedroom. I needed more storage space so we have some overflow of books here. So this shelf uh, contains a bunch of my craft books, painting books, some art books, anatomy book here, so yeah, photography, I have a hairstyling book, embroidery book, knitting books. Um, these are I believe in like four or five different languages. I have some sheet music, um, more painting. I have a pregnancy book, don't get excited here. This is a blogger book and I was completely influenced into buying this. And just a few more of my study books. This is uh, my introduction to Old Norse, but as you can see they are very brightly colored and I just could not fit them into the pretty bookshelf, so they have been exiled to the overflow shelf. And the very last shelf which contains everything else. So there's a bunch of a uh, bunch more math books here, Robert's books, driving theory, travel guides, just yeah whatever didn't fit on any other shelf, and more of my dad's puppets here. So that's it guys, those are my bookshelves, that is the majority of the books that I own. I really hope you enjoyed this video, it's just a casual silly little thing that I thought would be fun to do. So if you did enjoy, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for loads more beauty and lifestyle content. If you would like to support me through Patreon or my merch store, there will be links in the description box below. Thank you so much for your support. There is another video here that I think you might also enjoy. You can go watch next. Thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!